Hey guys, Isaac Woolsey, the autistic comedian here. Today we're going to talk about autistic representation in modern media. You all know movies like Rain Man, Forrest Gump, or I Am Sam. Very inspirational. Gives you an idea about people with autism or other learning disabilities, right? Wrong. These movies are just Hollywood feel-good movies that make having these conditions that, um, um, that are not necessarily strengths that, uh, I mean, sorry, that make having disabilities like autism, I'm reading a script, um, cerebral palsy, and even Down syndrome seem like a superpower. These conditions are not necessarily strengths that can give one a leg up in society. In fact, I myself, as an autistic man, sometimes see my autism as a hindrance. Now, I'm not saying that all autistic people are disabled. Some of them are, but I am. Or some of them are not, but I am. I don't want people to see my disability to be seen as a superpower advantage, rather as a person who should be respected with or without autism. Nowadays, if you go to go on Netflix, every other show has a character that is either autistic or autistic adjacent. At first, that seems like a good thing for making people like us more visible in the mainstream consciousness. However, this also kind of overexposes ourselves to outdated stereotypes and make neurotypical goals falsely believe that either they or someone they know might have autism. How does this happen? Well, first, we have to go back to early media depictions of dis... Ability. 1964's Rankin Bass Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Christmas Special. On the surface, the special seems harmless, but if you take a deep, uh, deeper dive into it, you see the main issue toward the supposed happy ending. Um, throughout the film, we see Rudolph is mis uh, be mistreated and ostracized by the other reindeer, and his red nose is seen as a flaw and total disability. He eventually has to live on the Isle of Misfit Toys, where broken-slash-disability-coded toys live. The concept of mid-20th century committing of disabled individuals being dis uh, portrayed in a kid's TV special is all kinds of unsettling. However, the ending is that there is a fog that evening, and Santa Claus needs a light for his sleigh, so he uses Rudolph's red nose to get the job done. Of course, Rudolph gets praise and acceptance for his feet, but then that raises the question, would Rudolph be accepted by society for him and his disability if it couldn't be exploited for others' gain? That is what modern shows that feature autism or other disabilities as a superpower have as a problem. You would not believe how many times I get asked if I could count cards in reference to the 1988 movie Rain Man, or when I was told that I might do great things like Forrest Gump. My disability growing up had myself crying over a writing book because I could not make the S's not look like fives. I still have trouble with handwriting to this day. I was never a savant. I had to drop out of college because I needed help and had trouble asking for it, which led to depression. I'm going back to school soon on an unrelated note. Um, here's hoping. I also can't drive, so I can't even do something as basic as going to the store to get groceries without assistance. That's why in some of my earlier videos I talk about public transit and about how there's too many cars on the road, because I can't drive, so that affects me personally. Another reason over-representation of autism is dangerous is because a lot of time it leads to misdiagnosis of autism in people who don't have it. Yes, that really happens. Um, someone could watch Steven Universe or um, Big Bang Theory and think they are autistic and go to their doctor or therapist and demand they get diagnosed as such. And yes, there's people who have been misdiagnosed because 
they say, oh, I'm socially awkward, therefore I must have autism. That's not always true. Like, it, um, now I may come off as gatekeeping autism, but I was diagnosed in the 90s during a time when it wasn't popular and seeing the same people who bullied me and called me the R word now saying that they think they have autism makes me kind of angry, you know? Especially since I had to work hard to get to where I am, and my autism is what really um, held me back, but also gave me some sort of a leg up because of because of my outside of the box uh, thinking. So seeing like all these people trying to normalize autism by trying to, it's almost fetishization of it. It's like they can't. And, the, and these Netflix shows and all these are shows that deal with autism or have autism characters make people think that autism is like everyone, and it's not true. Only a select people have it, or at least the people who do have it have it to an extent that it becomes a problem. Some people might just have slight autism, and that might not even be a problem. On a positive ending, happy Disability Pride Month, as you can, I don't know if you can see it on the, because of the light, but I have a, my, my Disability Pride sticker, and good disability representation can be found in the films Mary and Max, and two of the Pixar movies, Finding Nemo and Monsters University. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you.